Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to Lecture 8, Market Development Strategies in MKT 340 Strategic Marketing Management. Okay, so really these are about expansion strategies and, and the quote here just comes from Ernst & Young. And uh, really the important issue here is taking advantage of emerging market opportunities. While this may seem uh, fantastic, it does require careful planning. So we're now looking at the second of our strategy development and implementation strategies here in the subject of which is called marketing development strategies. So the focus of the lecture is to look at how we expand our, our uh, market and there are three main choices. New geographic markets, moving to a different location, uh, new market segments, different types of groups of users and new marketing channels. Geographic market extension is probably the most obvious moving from local to national levels and a classic uh, type of uh, strategy that's often used is in uh, the service industries is franchising. International market expansion is a little bit more uh, tricky where we move from exporting through to sort of licensing agreements, we may set up joint ventures, uh, we may pursue a mergers and acquisition strategy, what's often called inorganic growth or we may set up wholly owned subsidiaries. Now, out of all these, uh, licensing and exports are the most common for Australian manufacturers and exporters, service exporters. Now, in comparing or looking at a foreign market, market opportunity analysis, it suggested there are three stages. Starting with a preliminary study, looking at the overall economic, cultural and um, business fit of an offshore market then developing a short list of potential markets, then from that short list, providing a detailed market analysis of entering into a particular international market. Okay, so that's all in theory. Here's an example of a company that's done this, and this is the Yellowtail Winery, owned by the Castelli brothers in Victoria, and uh, their strategy of moving into the United States wine market is explained quite well in this advertisement. G'day America, I'm, I'm the Yellowtail Yellow guy, guy. about to enjoy some Yellowtail Yellow wine. Now, now I've got, got a big day coming up, the debut of my first big commercial. How big? You need to see it for yourself. But spoiler alert, stars of kangaroo. Hey, I've, I've got, got an idea. idea. A big commercial like that should air during your big American football game. I've got a number right here. If you see my face on your TV, social feed, why not just snap a pic and share it for your chance to win a trip to Australia. Okay, so the strategy there is to make wine um, fun, a fun drink, a recreational drink, not take it too seriously. And so this is a new market segment and also a new uh, international market Yellowtail Yellow are looking at. However, we have to be careful that as markets develop, we may get fragmentation or new customer segments that are uh, probably not profitable for us and also may threaten uh, the established business models we have. Universities in many ways are facing this from a number of providers. There's a danger of becoming stuck in the middle between low-end frills and high-end competitors, which other wine, winemakers may face from uh, winemakers such as Yellowtail and more pre premium winemakers. And of course, you should always be looking at disruptive innovation at the low end of market segments. Often these are driven by price and people are looking for uh, cheaper and more effective solutions or um, I guess value value approaches that might be appealing later on to more established markets. New marketing channels is also of course another growth strategy and the emergence of digital marketing channels that we've seen in the last few years through social media, uh, through our smartphones and so on um, have given rise to what's often called the omni-channel, the idea that we're using uh, information either to browse online and purchase at the store or we may go to the store and buy online. So often now we're looking at multi-distribution strategies uh, in this marketplace. The important here is to develop an understanding of the customer journey and how these multiple of, of consumer touch points, social media, online information sites, visits to stores, recommendations from friends may uh, determine how things are used. Here's some example of research done, such research, 
but uh, quite a large sample here, around about 45,000 people. And uh, looking across three categories, white goods, financial services and travel, they found that there were four main types of um, search behaviour and these people use different marketing channels. Information seekers want to look at all kinds of products and these are obviously more important in travel but not so much in financial and in white goods. So they pr primarily will rely on the internet. Reassurance seekers use a combination, which you see is most of the market over here, use a combination of uh, looking for all um, options, but not too many, but are really seeking reassurance for their evoked set. And they'll rely um, somewhat on the internet, but also rely on advice and going to stores. Convenience over here, you can see quite important in, in, um, in uh, information sectors are people who search in a very short period of time and pri primarily on online. And peace of mind, this group down here don't search or look but the, at all, that much at all, but are looking for reassurance from other people. So what this is telling you is that your type of channel depends upon the market segment and your interaction with other sources of information. And because digital sources now are also communication channels, we're seeing this overlap. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this brief but yet entertaining lecture. Thanks.